file based audio playback will only be comfortable if all files contain appropriate metadata. Just a file name in an album named folder doesn't cut it. You at least need to use some of the 100 metadata fields to find your way around your music. Now, how do you manage that? One of the most important things to do right is having consequent names for artists, composers, albums and songs. I started with a file based audio in 2003 and the first network player I listened to was a Slim Device Slim 3 that was extremely jittery. The next one was the Philips SL400i. This DNA player did video, photos and music, but again music sounded awful. Only when Slim Devices introduced the squeeze box at the end of 2003 a fairly decent sound could be achieved. But comparing the sound of that squeeze box to current network players I can't imagine the sound of the squeeze box pleased me. Even worse was the squeeze box server software when compared to what's offered today. The same was true for the available metadata services on the web. I recall having entries of the Beach Boys written like this, Beach Boys, colon the, the Beach Boys, the Beach Boys and even Beach Boys, colon the. Even more complex are artists or composers that originally have their names written in non-Roman characters, like Arabic, Cyrillic, Chinese, Greek, Japanese or Korean. A good example is Piotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky that originally is written like this. But I also saw it written like this, Piotr Tchaikovsky, Peter Tchaikovsky and other variants. There is no official way of writing the name in Roman characters and that's not really a problem as long as you are consequent. But that appears to be harder than it seems, especially with larger libraries. The current file formats, save wave, support around 100 metadata fields but not all players, hardware and software support all these fields. They even interpret some fields differently. A good example is the compilation field that is intended to be used for albums that carry tracks by different artists. An example is the concert for New York that holds tracks by David Bowie, Bon Jovi, Billy Joel and others. But some think that The Best of Santana is a compilation too. And in a sense it is of course. This use was not intended though and caused people to use this flag the wrong way. Another result from limited support of metadata fields with classical music is people using the artist field for the composer. This is very annoying to those that enjoy classical music. You want to select the pianist that plays Chopin's Nocturnes since they all play it differently. There is a composer field and modern players support it well. It might not have been the case when you ripped your music though. Editing metadata in network players and some software players is generally inconvenient. Luckily there are loads of computer programs that help you out. I use three of them, each for a different situation. Song Kong is ideal for mass updating your music collection. You can point it to a drive or directory and have it identify all music using acoustic matching from AcoustID. It then uses the JThink music server that is frequently updated from MusicBrainz and Discogs databases to find as much metadata available and have consequent use of the artist and composer names. After it is finished it will report on the success it had finding the right metadata. The process is fully automatic but you can customize about anything. It is of importance to go through all settings before you do the first run. Also start by copying a part of your library to another folder and work on that. Batch processes are extremely time efficient when all goes right. But repairing things that went wrong is almost always an enormous job. I know Song Kong can undo changes but just be careful. Other features are deleting duplicates and edit metadata manually. 
You can even have it monitor a folder for newly added songs. Songkong is available for Windows and Mac OS. Recently a Songkong version for Synology Nasus became available. Yate is the opposite of Songkong. It does one album at a time. This lets you control the process far better but it makes it cumbersome for large numbers of albums. Songkong is more suited to do large volumes but if your collection is largely labelled and you want to complete only new albums, Yate might be the better choice. After loading in an album you can have it ID'd by Acoust ID or if you know the artist and album name, have it search Acoustic Brains, Beatport, Discogs, iTunes, Music Brains and the Movie Database for metadata. It comes back with suggestions on media and country of release from which you can pick and then searches the cover art. It shows not only the front cover but also the back and the booklet when available. The metadata fields are grouped together in tabs. Yate is only available for Mac OS. Jacos is a Java program and thus available on any platform that runs Java. It uses Acoust ID, Music Brains or Discogs. It displays the tracks in a spreadsheet like fashion and that's the main reason I like it. It's great for loading in all Beach Boys albums and copy the right spelling of the name to all tracks. It is the ideal way to get consequent naming of artists, composers and genres for instance. But since it starts up rather slowly, I prefer Yate for general work and Songkong for the larger number of albums. It is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. All three support the usual file formats. And all three are not free. I'm sure there are free programs as well. I use these programs for some years now and love them. I can't remember why I chose these plate programs and not the free ones. Please be careful using these kinds of programs. Things can easily go wrong. Perhaps due to errors by the program, although I didn't come across any. But chances of operator error will occur if you don't take good care. Always make a solid backup before you start working, especially when processing a bunch of files. I have needed my backups more than once, just because I wanted to finish the job, was too tired and thus made errors. You're warned. Having finished the job, you can enjoy your music collection far more due to quality metadata. Thank you for watching. There will be another video next Friday, as always on 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HPproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.